Alright, so if I cannonball, she's just going to move Mega Red. And then I can Titania then. Yeah, because it'll be zero. It's probably just cannonball Titania. It's probably the play here. The mystery intrigues me. I get it well. <laughs> All right, GG. Victory. Hey everyone, I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. And today I'm playing Clog featuring Cannonball. I did an analysis a few months ago on if I was going to do by Cannonball and I pass and man, was I wrong. To be fair though, we didn't know they were going to nerf all the major cards at the time, like Alive or Zabu. So what is the game plan of this deck? We try to clog as much as possible so that the opponent has a hard time actually filling their board with useful cards. It'll be more apparent when I go through the card breakdown. All right, so starting off, we have Nebula. Uh, usually want to play her turn one. Um, and it's nice to play her on the right side um, just so opponents will try to like commit cards to like unknown location. And usually we get ahead because we could redirect all our cards to um, left and mid um but sometimes you do want to just play her on left or mid um if there's like a negative location all right next we have titania um yeah so there's two ways to use her um one of them is you could pair her with uh professor x especially if you have like a professor x enable with ravona so he'll be four energy uh, so on five, you could play uh, Professor X and Titania together. So that'd be like a six lockdown location uh, for six power. And sometimes, yeah, you could boost that location with Jeff, which is pretty nice. Um, I've also seen people use her to just um, just clog up the location so opponents can't play anything, um, which is a little bit harder to do. And um, but it, that that's also possible. All right, next we also play Daredevil. Um, yeah, he's just good in the deck. Um, puts a lot of pressure on the opponent on five and six, um, especially how like you know what they're doing on five, so you could sort of guess on six what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, also pairs very well with uh, Professor X in this deck. All right, um, yeah, moving on, we have White Widow. She's also really good in this deck. Um, you could just clog up a location also on top of that. Um, it's kind of like a pseudo nebula. Um, you want to play, you want to play White Widow on another lane, uh, not with Nebula, because opponents also want to try to um, fill up this location so they don't get the negative effect, the minus four. But it's tough because Nebula is also increasing every single turn, and then they also have to fight against um, White Widow as well. Um, next is Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's just in here because we have. Professor X um, also could like if they're not paying attention uh, it's sort of like hard to guess like oh we're gonna move um, yeah it's just another card to get into hard locations as well yeah Ravonna's mainly in here for um, Professor X if we could do something early um, yeah oh I guess also makes Green Goblin cheaper uh, yeah so Green Goblin uh, just another good clog card uh, just fills up more locations uh, of the opponent's space. All right, so Debris is like pretty good as well, um, especially how you could add, you could fill up two more locations for the opponent. I usually like to play uh, Debris in between the lane um, where uh, if you have one spot uh, occupied with Nebula, another spot with White Widow, I like to play her in the middle because this force rocks uh, in two locations. Um, it might actually make it a little bit easier for them for White Widow uh, to avoid the minus four, but you know, it's a rock, right? There's no power. All right, next we have Professor X. Yeah, it's just nice card on four or five to just uh, completely stop a lane. Um, of course, when you're doing the math, just always account for maybe they have Jeff 
and usually you don't have to fight for that lane all right so cannonball um yeah cannonball is really useful in this deck um most of the time people will not play around him and especially if all the all the uh lanes are clogged up um you could really swing that lane in your favor um especially have professor x locking down the other lane all right and then dr octopus um yeah he's mainly just a clog up one complete location um and yeah and you could also play him with conjunction with uh cannonball here and lastly yeah red hulk's just another threat uh on um the last turn um it's either we're gonna cannonball and swing the lane or we just play red hulk and they just can't beat the raw power okay you made it this far i would appreciate if you would consider subbing and liking this video this would also really help motivate me to continue making videos thank you so much for being a part of edge gaming without further ado let's get into the games all right skipping here we didn't draw nebula that's fine all right, Marie Hill kind of tells me this is probably Loki then. All right, Death's Domain. Okay, we could probably do some Professor X play here then. Uh, since I drew Professor X, I'm going to do Ravona just so we could play a little bit earlier. Uh, they probably maybe got Jeff, maybe, but we're just going to have to see. Okay, White Widow. Okay. All right, that might be kind of hard to win now, but that's okay. Oh, Strange Academy now makes this a little different. Uh, I guess what I can do now is just White Widow. Maybe I'll just White Widow um, left then. All right, definitely setting up for Loki. Okay, now this gets kind of interesting, just like uh, all over the place. Uh, I can Professor X now. Um, it's probably a little bit more beneficial to play Daredevil though. I'll play Jeff here. I think the pressure from uh, your devil is going to be pretty vital here. Yeah, my Professor X left if they don't play anything, but we'll just see. We'll just see what they do. Okay, so they play something. Okay, so they play Thanos. Okay, so they'll be at eight. Okay. Uh, did they grab anything from Maria Hill? Okay, so they didn't play anything yet. Okay, so we got either Nebula, Professor X. Yeah, we could also just Nebula, Professor X mid. Uh, that could be one option. Could also Doc Ock. I think I'm just gonna do Nebula, Professor X then. All right, so could Red Hulk uh, just do that? It's 19. All right. I'll carrier Sentinel. Okay, I think we're good. All right, GG.
All right, so got call. I'll play Nebula right here. I also have Cannonball Finisher, which is pretty nice. Um, because I have Professor X, I feel like I'm going to play Ravona. All right, we'll play Ravona on left. All right, Jeff. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, I could debris. Um, it's not bad. They play nothing on Space Throne. All right, I'm gonna snap. Yeah, we, we have pretty nice uh, follow-ups here. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to clog. Okay, so we have Nocturne. All right, I'm gonna close off uh, right here. Okay, and we also have Cannonball, so not too worried there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play Jeff. So the Jeff can move. Um, so I do want to just play some power. I guess I could play the some power next turn, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, so I'm going first. Um, do I win? So I get, I'm adding 13. I'm also destroying 10. Um, we're gonna tie middle. So maybe it needs to go by max power then, right? No, I'll be losing. I, uh, yeah, it needs to do this. Yeah, they're gonna move Jeff over. Okay, cool. GG. Victory. All right. Uh, we do have Nebula and then White Widow. I think I'm more willing to play Nebula and Necrotia here. Um, and I'm going to do White Widow in the unknown location. Yeah, we're just going to put a lot of pressure. Okay, Onslaught. Could be pretty good for Ravona, uh, but I'm gonna White Widow. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Uh, we don't have Professor X, so I'm gonna go with Debris here. So they want a magic. Okay, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna Ravona and then Daredevil. Let's get to see what they're gonna do here. Oh, Iron Man? Okay. All right, it's not too bad. All right, I'm gonna drop Jeff. I am Iron Man. Yeah, just it's gonna have to be Green Goblin then. All right, cool. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Opponent snapped. All right, so if I cannonball, she's just gonna move Mega Red. 
and then I can Titania then. Yeah, because it'll be zero. It's probably just Cannonball Titania. It's probably the play here. The mystery intrigues me. I get it well. <laughs> All right, GG. Victory. All right, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Overall, the deck can definitely steal cubes as people don't expect cannonball at all. Also, I mentioned it's extremely fun, so give this deck a shot. Before I sign off, it is once again that special time in the video where we get our dopamine fix and open some reserves. All right, so last time we left off with Domino, so let's, um, yeah, let's get the Infinity Border. Infinity. All right, nice. All right, uh, yeah, foil finish as expected. All right, next I'm gonna do Maria Hill. Usually these uh, random cards, I like to make them Infinity Border. So the random cards come out to be Infinity Border as well. Infinity. All right, very nice. All right, so two reserves today. First one being, all right, 200 credits, pretty good. All right, last one is, Oh, Spider-Man. Oh, nice. Oh, and it, I think it's the actual one of the albums. So it's pretty good too. All right. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and liking the video and I'll catch you in the next one.